Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And have you ever logged into your Hearthstone account and played a game or checked out a quest or did something like that and you're like, something seems different, something seems off, and well, it turns out something did change and no patch note, no explanation was ever given for it. It just kind of happened and well, there are undocumented changes that have happened throughout the history of Hearthstone, a ton of them, but I wanna go through 10 times that Hearthstone changed something without telling anyone. That's kind of a big deal. Some of them were more minor, but they kind of changed the, uh, the impact of the game, some for the better, and some for the worst. Thought it'd be interesting, and you can tell by the thumbnail uh, where I'm probably gonna go be going with one of them. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at 10 times Hearthstone changed something without telling anyone. And let me know in the comments below if there were explanations for these. These are all that I assume or couldn't find an explanation for, or if there's other interactions or things that have changed where they didn't say anything. I'd be love to hear it. And also a reminder, there's a bunch of giveaways going on on the channel. Giveaway mega bundles, regular bundles on this video. And I'm also gonna give away a free uh, Tavern Fire Festival thing on this video. So you can enter those giveaways. All you gotta do is comment in those videos, also subscribe to the channel and all that. I'll be announcing the winners for all these, by the way, on This Week in Hearthstone on Monday. So we'll finally announce all the winners. So you wanna check that out. Anyways, going into it, what are 10 of the changes? So first we'll start, we'll start off tame and move our way up to the spicier stuff as we go. So number 10, uh, daily quests. All of a sudden the daily quests in Hearthstone no longer rewarded you rewards in Tavern Brawl. Uh, you couldn't do anything like that. This was with the uh, the new battle pass that was introduced and you no longer, but there was another unintended change that wasn't talked about. You no longer had to get down to 15 health in a game to complete a daily quest. And both of these were changed. One you would argue is for the better, where they all of a sudden were like, okay, you know what? We'll give you XP and stuff for doing Tavern Brawl things. And then they made it so you had to get down to 15 HP for your daily quest account because before if you had like play three games as a mage, you could just go into a game and concede and you got credit. That went away, you had to go down to 15 HP. And a lot of people didn't love that because it made it longer, but it also made like the quality games better. So those are two kind of undocumented changes that happened recently uh, that were around daily quests. Again, very minor, but uh, both were changed and arguably for the better. But we'll, again, we'll get spicier as we go along. At number nine, this is pretty recent. This wasn't really intended change but it happened uh glaivebound adept was removed from hearthstone um i believe with the latest expansion or the when they added the core set all that stuff uh glaivebound adept just disappeared from the game there was no mention of it it basically just wasn't supposed to happen and eventually was added back into the game you can even you know draft it in arena or whatever you can put it into your deck but for a little bit for a little bit in the history of hearthstone after demon hunter was introduced glaivebound adept was removed and uh well we we're like was that intentional? Can we just remove the class? A lot of people hate Demon Hunter. Remove Priest, actually. Uh, wait, that's my thing. Anyways, yeah. So that was one that was kind of out there, but let's get into a little bit more spicier stuff. Well, this one's actually just kind of stupid and funny. Uh, we have Rathion. You might remember this card. This is an old, old card. It's like six mana, four or five taunt, and it would draw um, a dragon. It would draw If it would draw a card, and if it was a dragon, it would keep on drawing. And when this card came out, if your deck was completely full of dragons, you could play Rathion and draw your entire deck. You would brick, you would just completely delete your deck. You would overdraw, overdraw, overdraw until you had no cards left. However, they changed a bug in the game. There was a bug in the game with Rathion that your opponent could see the cards you drew. So they changed that. And when they changed that interaction, they changed Rathion to no longer mill yourself. Once your hand was full, it would stop drawing and you couldn't, you know, overdraw to oblivion and was that a nerf not really is actually better for the card but it was just kind of hilarious that it got changed so if you were on the objective of milling yourself going into fatigue getting your nomi ready maybe you wanted to play nomi into the future when nomi wasn't a card but still nomi was a card Mechathy was a card. Maybe the Rathian Dragon Mill strategy would have been good. You, you never know. It, it would not have been, but it was kind of just a funny little change that just happened to happen because of a bug fix or change in mechanics. And well, there's some more of that coming up. Next, we have this weird interaction that existed for a short period of time in Hearthstone. You would play in Druid, Explosive Sheep, 
plus poison seeds and it would clear the board. What would happen is the explosive sheep would die, then the treants would be all summoned, then the explosive sheep's death route would go off, clear the board. This all of a sudden came up. This was not originally in the game when poison seeds explosive sheep were introduced. Um, I believe explosive sheep was GVG, poison seeds I believe was next Ramus. But regardless, uh, the interaction wasn't intended and it must have been just something the way they coded the uh, the occurrence of these animations or what, you know, the events going on that all of a sudden it became a board clear for Druid. And that was pretty sweet because Druid didn't really have a board clear. The best thing he had was poison seed starfall and this interaction existed for a very short period of time. It was never meant to happen. It was not documented, but then they eventually reverted it. They fixed it so that if you would play explosive sheep poison seeds, it would no longer clear the board. So that was one of those really kind of fun, cool ones where you were able to utilize the mechanics in a way that wasn't really intended. And it kind of benefited Druid players. And uh, it was like a six mana board clear interaction. So that was pretty sweet, but did not last for very long. Number six, we have the darkness. The Darkness which changed to a dormant minion, I believe, um, in the most recent expansion. I'm not, I'm, I can't remember exactly when it was made to be dormant, but yeah, the darkness, or maybe it was during Ashes when they added the dormant mechanic, probably then. Regardless, dormant was, uh, darkness was made dormant. And what this did, what this changed, was that the darkness now retained any hand buff, any stat modifying thing to it. Whereas before, you would play the darkness and it would always come up as a 30 30 if candles were drawn so let's say you played barns and you got the darkness from barns and you were able to awakenness the darkness with candles it would awake as a 30 30. however with this change now it was a one one or if you floop it it'll be a three four or if you hand buff it it'll be bigger than a 30 30. it'll be like a 32 32 or 40 40 whatever all of a sudden the darkness in some ways was nerfed with like a barns interaction or buffed with a hand buff interaction so one of those kind of unintentional on like documented changes to the card where it's kind of a buff kind of a nerf but just an interesting change to how the card worked basically due to the fact that they made it dormant and dormant retains those type of buff attributions as a mechanic so there's another kind of funny one number five this one was really hotly contested and it was kind of documented but kind of not we had the jungle giants was stealth nerfed they changed the interaction of like how things are ordered. And basically before this change happened, I don't remember which patch, but uh, before this happened, when you would faceless manipulator, any five attack minion or more, because the jungle giants seem to play five attack minions or more to get Barnabas, you would get a proc on your quest. However, they changed this interaction so that this no longer proc the quest. You faceless manipulator, a five attack minion, it doesn't advance your quest, which definitely nerfed the quest faceless was a big part of that deck back in the day and no dust was ever given for jungle giants despite it being nerfed and this was just a contested thing so upsetting that nova just left the room she was a big jungle giants fan anyways never changed we never got dust for it and faceless manipulator to this day still does not proc jungle giants and was just one of those kind of undocumented changes but was very contested people really wanted their dust back and basically Never got it. At number four, and this is a controversial one because there's no real confirmation of this, but a lot of arena players feel this way, myself included, but that they stealth nerfed arena wards way back, way back, like few years ago, that after like 10, 11, 12 wins, all that stuff, you get worse rewards. Um, I've had plenty of 12 win runs lately where I get just terrible rewards or even like 10 win win rewards that are like barely anything and back in the day you used to get like legendaries you could get really good stuff a lot of gold and now you're more likely it feels like to get golden rares golden commons a lower gold amount it's one of those controversial ones because it takes you know value out of the player's hands and just seems to be a thing but the only documented change that i could find for arena rewards has been you could no longer get regular commons i believe after 10 wins and that was like way back in the day that they changed that and to this day i do believe that arena rewards were stealth nerfed they're stealing our gold and we gotta stop blizzard greed or they didn't i don't know but it just sure feels that way and uh you, let me know in the comments below on this one do you guys feel like they they stealth nerf the arena rewards without telling us number three though we have the sonia interaction being effectively stealth nerf sonia is a rogue card that whenever a minion dies 
comes back as a 1-1. One, one. However, with the quest reward, the caverns below, um, they would come back as 5-5. Five, five. So it's really good, right? You'd play, or 4-4 or four, four after it was nerfed. You would play Sonya plus a deckhand or a boar. Trade it in and come back, trade it in and come back. And then once the quest is completed, it would come back as a 5-5 five, five over and over. However, they changed the way interactions work in the game behind the scenes mechanically. I think it was mentioned to an extent in the patch notes, but not specifically with Sonya. And all of a sudden, when you get a mini back, it's just a 1-1. One, one. The, even though the aura of the whole rogue quest is supposed to make everything a 5-5 five, five now, nowadays, um, it came back as a 1-1. One, one. And this is a huge, huge nerf to the card because its main interaction, its main usage was in quest rogue. And, well, we didn't get dust for it. There was no specific change announced for it in, well... People to this day are still kind of salty that Sonya does not work the way it used to, the way it probably should, honestly. And just one of those that just, yeah, rubs a lot of people the wrong way. At number two, we have effectively what seems to be the stealth nerf of the challenge of friend quest in Hearthstone. This quest, this used to be known as the 80 gold quest. I, I've had my 80 gold battles with Crypt back in the day, but you would challenge a friend and you'd both get 80 gold. And then they changed it so that you would get extra XP, like more than a regular one. But it's because, you know, they don't give gold for quests anymore. However, since the Tavern Pass or the Battle Pass went live back in November, I myself have not received this quest one time and not once. And I made this tweet asking other people the same thing. And very few people seem to have got it. Ben Hearthstone, Hearthstone aficionado, says he feels like he gets it much more rare. And he thinks they added like the uh, three different class things, like hurt its occurrence rate. And yeah, the challenge of friend and probably spectator friend, because honestly, I think about that once or twice since everything changed, uh, went away. It basically seems to have gone away to this like really, really rare occurrence where I used to get it probably like once a week or two. It was pretty common. So they kind of stealth nerf that and that one really sucks because that's a lot of XP. Then that goes towards your battle pass that goes towards getting more gold. And yeah, I, I would love for them to put that back up, especially because it's fun to have reasons to play against friends. I always enjoy that, especially my 80 gold battles with crit back in the day. I will always cherish those. So yeah, that one uh, I'm not too happy about and uh, I wish they would like boost that one back up, but then they have to give us stuff. Will that ever happen? Who knows? And at number one, the ch change that happened, the most spectacular one by far, in my opinion, has to be Naga Sea Witch. The five mana at the time, five, five, your cards cost five. And this card was always unplayable. It was bad. And then they changed the way the giants and all these cards got discounted. I believe by the way, this frozen throne battle, they had like the Lich King battle uh, during the frozen throne, like the PV content. And they changed it so that for that battle for is my understanding it's like it's an old like wives tale at this point but what happened is they changed the way giants were discounted it used to be like okay you have a you have a molten giants 25 at the time 25 mana you play naga and it would still cost 25 less the five right whereas then it was changed that it would cost five then take the discount so basically all giants became free and it broke the wild format naga became this broken thing where all of a sudden it was this unplayable card to an uh, absolute juggernaut where they eventually had to nerf it to eight mana just because of how ridiculous it was because of this unintended undocumented change and they'll always say that oh yeah we meant to do this i remember i saw comments about the dev saying oh yeah we meant to change naga this way no, they really didn't. And they wouldn't have nerfed it by three mana if they meant to do this change. And it was just one of those spectacular undocumented changes that absolutely revolutionized the wild format and made it a degenerate thing and even had a guy take an ad out on reddit to get it nerfed so there you go let me know in the comments like i said below if some of these were documented or if there's some other ones that i missed out on and maybe we make another list i don't know if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty, my friends.